From putting blocks on your head to creating a lightning tornado, there are 267 Minecraft facts you didn't know. How are these squids flying? Squids are meant for water, but with this glitch, they'll soar through the sky. To do this, cram a bunch of squids in a tight area, and immediately, they'll face through the walls and blow. Glow squids can do this too, and it looks very cool at night. You can ride boats down high cliffs and take no fall damage, but there are two amazing tricks you can do with boats. While the boat is falling, if you quickly leave it and re-enter constantly, the boat will fall down slowly. But there's another trick. If you quickly light the boat on fire and then ride it down, the boat will glide slower, allowing you to travel much further. Boats are the best. What causes the biggest explosion? End crystals, withers, maybe even TNT minecarts. Well, it's actually none of them. The largest explosions come from fireballs, because unlike other explosions, you can set the explosion power using commands. They're so powerful that they can even blow up water. But if you set the power too high, your game will crash, so be careful. The original creepers were nothing compared to today. When initially added, creepers didn't explode, but instead were a melee mob and tried to attack you. They were also the same color as grass blocks back then, so were a lot more difficult to spot. They'd camouflage right into the environment and BAM! One of the coolest things in Minecraft is the lag machine. They utilize some of Minecraft's least known features to crash servers. There are all different kinds from bouncing armor stands to floating snowballs. My favorite is the minecart machine. It's super simple to make and is extremely destructive. Did you know it's possible to get slime balls in peaceful mode? Most people think that the only way to get slime balls is from slimes, but there is another way. Baby pandas have a 1 in 700 chance of sneezing and dropping a slime ball. Bless you. How do you get netherite stairs? In Minecraft's infinite snapshot, there is an item called the swaggiest stair ever. You aren't able to craft it, but you can find it in one of the infinite dimensions. Don't break any blocks on this world. If you touch even one, the entire world will fall apart. This is because the world is entirely sand with no blocks underneath. So if you break just one, it'll update the rest, creating a satisfying 5 seconds and a broken World. Minecraft resource packs can change your game to look like anything you want. Whether it's having short swords, super detailed blocks, or this cool texture. But they can also make your game look way worse. This texture pack unloads every single texture and replaces it with an error. What does rain look like? Oh my. The most satisfying way to break Minecraft is with illegal enchantments. By using commands, you can put Fortune 1000 on a pickaxe and mining diamonds will drop a ton. You can also put looting 1000 on your swords to get pork chops for years. Ah. <sighs> This is the life. How do you put items on the ground? You could always just throw the item, but then it'd despawn. Instead, if you place an item frame, then a birch pressure plate, the frame blends right in. Place some more birch blocks around, and you won't even be able to tell there's an item frame. What's the deadliest mob in Minecraft? You may think it's the Warden because it has 250 hearts, but it's not. Although it has a lot of HP, its Sonic Beam only does a maximum of 22.5 hearts of damage. The deadliest mob is actually the Charged Creeper. Their explosions do the most damage in the game at 64. 4.75 hearts of damage. By combining 8 arrows and a lingering water bottle, you'll get the tipped arrow of splashing. This is by far one of the most pointless items in all of Minecraft. It functions just like a regular arrow, but looks a bit cooler with blue particles. So if you're into that stuff, this is the arrow for you. Some villages in Minecraft can spawn completely destroyed. Villages have a 2% chance of spawning abandoned. Here, zombie villagers spawn instead of regular villagers, and all doors and torches are missing. What's sadder is that there's a lot of cobwebs and stray cats that have been abandoned. Aww. One of the scariest things in Minecraft is being chased by wolves. What most people don't know is that these angry creatures are parkour masters. Wolves are one of the few mobs that will actually jump over gaps to attack you. Ah, get away! If more than 24 mobs are squeezed into a single block, they start to take damage. This is because of entity cramming. But you can actually increase the 24 mob limit with a game rule. You can cram thousands of mobs in a single block. But if you let them out, something strange happens. All the squished entities push against each other and create an animal cannon. Wait, how did they go both? Both ways. Pixel art is bland, but beacon pixel art is beautiful. You can use beacons with stained glass panes to create pixel art from the colored beams. If you want gaps, you can use stone walls without ruining the beam. This looks gorgeous. This is the biggest discovery for Minecraft speedrunning. Normally, sprinting uses up a lot of hunger, but there's actually a way to lose almost no hunger. If you sprint and then punch an entity, as long as you're still holding sprint, you can keep running forever while barely losing any hunger. This works in versions 1.7 to 1.18. If you run a lava stream, into water, it'll create cobblestone. But in Nether, this doesn't work. 
Instead, you can create a basalt generator. Place lava, blue ice, and salt soil like this, and once the lava runs into the blue ice, basalt will form. Some players like Mumbo Jumbo have even created automatic basalt bridges. You can craft hoppers with stone? In older versions of Minecraft, instead of using iron, stone was used instead. These hoppers could even be put in furnaces as a fuel. This makes no sense. The blue axolotl is the rarest, having only a 1 in 2,000 chance of spawning with two red. But there's actually an axolotl type that's impossible to get. When axolotls were being showcased, a green one was shown. There was gameplay of it shown, but it never ended up getting added. Maybe it looked too much like a zombie fish. Iron golems are known for protecting villagers, but some of them are evil and trying to kill villagers. After a raid, villagers shoot up fireworks to celebrate. These fireworks can damage golems and make them furious. Looks like even villagers can enrage iron golems. The ender dragon drops the most experience compared to any mob in the game, but how much does it drop? The dragon drops 12,000 XP when killed for the first time. This is enough to bring the player's level to a maximum of 64 levels, but if you respawn the dragon with end crystals, it'll only drop 500 XP points. Every April Fool's Day, Mojang adds something special. In 2019, Minecraft added the 3D shareware update. In this version, crossbows could have multi-shot up to level 12, but it was an incredibly rare item found in burning barrels. Other items could be found in them too, like tipped arrows and random potions. Toker boxes are fantastic for carrying more items, but they have one problem. You have to place them to access the items. To fix this, Mojang has introduced the bundle, which you can access with a hidden setting. While creating a new world, click more, then experiments, and enable true for bundles. To use them, just right-click over an item and it'll suck it up. The bundle can hold up to 64 items. Take the items out, right-click it, and all the items will spew on the floor. Okay, maybe I still prefer shulker boxes. The double chest is nice, but the quad chest is even better. In older versions, you couldn't place more than two chests together. However, if you use the set block command, you could force another chest down. Doing so would reveal three inventories worth of storage. You can take this even further and set block four chests, creating a quintuple chest. There's so much storage that it gets cut off by the screen. You can trap players in Minecraft's end credits. When you beat Minecraft, you enter a credit screen and then spawn back at your bed. But what if you could make someone stuck in the credits forever? Well, with a command block, you can teleport someone to the end portal, making them read the end poem for eternity. This illegal portal was made in survival. Normally, when you break the obsidian, the portal breaks instantly, but with an update suppressor, you can freeze time. The suppressors overload Minecraft so much that you can break the obsidian without the game realizing. This is so broken! I can't believe this block is in Minecraft. When you place snow on top of a grass block, the texture changes. But if you remove the snow on top, it looks like this. To get the snowy grass block, an enderman has to pick up a regular snow grass block. This works in version 1.16. And once the enderman places back the block, you'll be left with this cursed thing. If you want it in creative mode, you can just use a debug stick. You can break bedrock with pistons, but did you know there's a way to get the actual item? This is one of the best and simplest ways to get it. On version 15w47c, first kill the ender dragon. Then while respawning it, you have to place and break the final end crystal instantly. Doing so will drop a piece of bedrock, one of the rarest items ever. Hooray! Whoops. Have you ever wondered what's past the world border? You can see terrain past it, but you can't go further. Not even in spectator mode. But there's one way to reach the true end of the world. You need a pig and carrot on stick. And as you approach the world border, shrink it to go behind you. This will let you keep trotting until you reach the end. Over here, chunks no longer generate, and it's just blank. The furnace has unlimited fuel. Furnaces are really useful, but the problem is that you need to constantly refuel them. Luckily, you can make a carpet duper to infinitely fuel your furnaces. This contraption generates carpets at super speeds and lets you cook as many pork chops as you want. No more mining for coal or burning wood. If you need to mine a huge area, you should use TNT dupers. For some reason, when you place coral and slime like this, it duplicates TNT. This is super overpowered and is every hardcore YouTuber's dream item. Now, redstone ore can be very deadly. If you create a small box like this and spam XP bottles down, a lot of particles will come out. So much so that you may notice your frames dropping. But by disabling your particles, you can create a lag machine that only affects other people, giving you an advantage to anyone who comes near. <laughs> you can ban players with hoppers. By filling a chunk with a bunch of hoppers, you'll cause anyone who loads it to instantly crash. They won't even be able to join back because they'll still be in the chunks. The only way to come back is if their layer data was wiped. This is evil. You can't place water in the nether, right? Well, not exactly. There's actually a secret way to place water. No, I'm not talking about a cauldron. In this 1.17 snapshot, placing glow lichen in lava for some reason formed water. You could then flood the nether and even grow crops. This is the most cursed way to break Minecraft. By using the no cube mod, you can completely remove the cubes from the world, creating rolling landscapes, circular caves, and realistic trees. The mod transforms Minecraft from a block game to a... Okay, what is this? Bring me back! You can crash Minecraft 
with just a flint and steel and a dispenser. Normally the combo would light a nether portal, but not in this version. In 1.16.4, just flick this lever and you'll find yourself right at the launcher again. If you give yourself a potion in creative mode, you'll get an uncraftable potion. But there is one place where you can get it. This potion can appear in survival in the achievement window for local brewery. Did you know you can teleport mobs? Running this command will teleport the ender dragon right to you. But you can take this one step further and teleport every mob to your location, including things like boats and minecarts. The item frame looks pretty funky when you teleport it. I never knew it could be slanted. You can make it rain arrows. When I shoot this arrow, more will fall down, creating a beautiful pattern. My favorite is shooting the arrow straight into the sky. To recreate this, just run the following command and you can even exchange the arrow tag with something like lightning. This is too cool. If you run the same command block multiple times, it'll create the lightning tornado. That's probably the coolest thing I've ever seen. The slash TP command lets you teleport around your world, but it can also be used to paralyze your friends. With a repeating command block, teleport the player the same coordinates and they'll be stuck forever. Wait, how do I turn this on? What's the best way to get sand? You can mine for hours with a shovel or you can do this instead. This sand duper uses the end portal and falling sand to get 72,000 sand per hour. It can also do concrete powder as well as gravel. Yeah, I'm never mining again. Zombie sieges can happen in villages with more than 20 beds. Sieges have a 10% chance of spawning at midnight in these villages and during them, it's very dangerous. Up to 20 zombies spawn within two seconds and it doesn't matter how well lit the area is either, they'll still spawn. Before redstone dust, there were gears? Gears were supposed to be used for creating cool contraptions. They could even be placed on walls, but they were later replaced with redstone dust. I think it makes more sense since you can just find it as an ore underground. Imagine mining for gears. Iron golems have a secret feature. Very rarely, golems will offer up a flower to villagers and sometimes if there's a baby villager, the golem will hand the flower over. Notch added this from an iconic scene in the movie Castle in the Sky where a robot gave a little girl a flower. This proves golems are gentle giants. A group of sheep is called a herd. A group of bees is called a swarm. What about endermen? Well, according to Dinnerbone, the official name for a group of endermen is called a haunting of endermen. Spooky. When you place water blocks together, you're able to create an infinite water source. But if you try the same thing with lava, it won't work. Still, there's still a sneaky way to get infinite lava. Just place lava on top of a dripstone block and catch the droplets using a cauldron. You can have multiple of these to create the ultimate lava setup. TNT doesn't explode underwater, right? Wrong. You can make it explode by placing sand on top of it. When you light it, the sand falls down on the TNT, shielding it from water. You can actually stack different slabs. Go to the world border, place one slab at the edge, and then push another slab into it using a piston. However, it gets even better as you can combine other blocks as well. For example, a grindstone and a cauldron, or even a chain into another chain. Unfortunately, it's only a visual glitch and it resets after relogging the world. Still super cool though. What if torches burn out? Well, it was an actual idea that almost got implemented. After a certain period of time, torches would burn out and you'd have to relight them with a flint and steel. Luckily, this idea was scrapped from user feedback. In 1.8, snowballs used to damage players, but actually, they never did. Contrary to popular belief, snowballs never dealt knockback to players. This was a myth because so many of the top 1.8 servers like iPixel had a plugin that made snowballs do damage. In reality, they never did anything. Enchanting tables used to be made out of cobblestone instead of obsidian. They did look pretty cool though. What's crazier is that enchanting used to cost 50 experience levels instead of 30. That would take me weeks to enchant just a single item. I'm glad that it was changed. You can break end portals in survival mode. Blowing up or mining the frame won't work, but for some reason, a mushroom will. Bone mealing it a few blocks away will grow the mushroom right through the portal frames. Good luck beating Minecraft on this world. Don't drink this milk! It may look like a normal bucket, but it came from a squid. In beta versions of Minecraft, there was a bug that let you milk both cows and squids. Ew. If you create a super flat world that's just TNT, you'll have one of the greatest explosions ever. You'll have an infinite chain reaction of TNT that'll only get laggier and laggier. But if you create this world in survival mode, make sure a creeper doesn't explode. Uh-oh. Ah! What's the worst Minecraft update? Arguably, it's 1.9, as it completely changed the combat system. It made a stone axe stronger than a diamond sword and introduced a cooldown system in PvP, so you had to wait in between each hit. Phantoms are super annoying and are a close second, though. You can get negative items in Minecraft, and it's overpowered. In version 1.8, place your desired item in the first slot of a chest, ignite nearby TNT, and then hover over the item in the chest, and spam your number one key. If you're lucky, your item will now have a stack count of zero. From here, you can put this item in a 
dispenser and pop out unlimited items. This will cause the item in the dispenser to go negative. Where is the treasure? If you're mining right on the X of a treasure map and still not finding it, here's a trick. Treasure will always spawn at 9. 9 relative coordinates of a chunk. So, if you're having trouble, just check your relative coordinates and dig down at 9, 9. In 2017, Minecraft's name was changed. The phone edition used to be called Pocket Edition, but was changed to Bedrock Edition. The PC version was just called Minecraft, but changed to Java Edition. Many thought Mojang was doing this to eventually replace all of Minecraft, which is Bedrock Edition, but it hasn't happened for now. When you spawn a wither, the sky changes color. It turns into a murky gray color, almost as if a storm were coming. Most people don't realize this because they just fight the wither underground now. When you think of blocks that glow, mushrooms would probably be at the bottom of your list. Similar to how some mushrooms glow in the dark in real life. They give off a faint glow in Minecraft. It gives off the lowest light level of one. Minecarts are amazing for transporting loot across your world, but crafting all the rails can take up a ton of iron. Instead, if you just place three minecarts on a single powered rail, the minecarts will move infinitely without rails. This will save so much iron! When you lead a mob, the lead may appear to be attached to your hand, but it's not. The lead is instead attached to a small portion of your back. It looks very painful. Phantoms are super annoying, so a lot of servers have them disabled. This means you can't get phantom membranes and slow falling potions. Or can you? Because there is one other way to get membranes, but it uses one of the least known mechanics in Minecraft. First, you need to tame a cat, and when you sleep, it'll have a 70% chance to bring you a gift in the morning. The gifts include items like string, feathers, rabbit's foot, or even membranes. So if phantoms are disabled in your world, you can still get the membranes from cats. Number four, when you go to bed, only one of your cats bring you gifts. So having multiple cats won't get you more items, but there's actually a loophole around this. By putting cats in boats, Minecraft can't tell there are multiple, and they end up all giving you gifts. It's the perfect setup. Nah, I'm sorry. In older versions of Minecraft, you could stack multiple item frames to create works of art. You could make flaming swords, super weapons, tools of infinite power. The possibilities were endless. All you had to do was place multiple item frames, place the new item, and repeat. Unfortunately, item frame stacking was patched, but if you're ever on an older version, this is a pretty cool trick. And portals have a mysterious secret. Blocks like chests and dispensers give off a comparator strength when you put items into them, and surprisingly, end portals do too. When you put an eye in the frame, it gives a comparator signal strength of 15. I never expected end portals to be used for redstone. With only a few blocks, you can make a time bomb. When the furnace finishes cooking, it'll update the TNT and blow up. By setting up this redstone contraption in this exact order, you can create the bomb, set the timer with the amount of items in the furnace, and break this lever to point the redstone at the TNT. The change is so subtle that Minecraft doesn't realize the TNT has a redstone pointed at it. Once the furnace is finishes cooking, the TNT updates causing it to explode. No, my armor! If you just took fall damage and were worried about losing armor durability, you don't have to worry. Your armor also doesn't take any damage from being on fire, suffocating inside a block, elytra collisions, entity cramming, potion effects, and powdered snow. So next time you're in an awkward situation, you can be at peace knowing your armor isn't losing durability. <sighs> This block combo is better than trap chests. While trap chests are decent, they're easily noticeable due to the red marker on the inside. On the other hand, an observer beneath a barrel will create an impossible to see trap. This way, if you want to catch sneaky thieves, keep your valuables in a barrel and trap it. They'll never see this coming. Horses are amazing for overland travel, but can't swim, so water crossing can be very difficult. Luckily, their skeleton variants actually have a hidden ability. They can glide through the water. Just make sure you got a turtle helmet for the water breathing so you don't drown while you're on a horse. Depending on your difficulty mode, fire can spread faster or slower. For example, if you're in hard mode, it'll spread faster than you were in easy mode. But that's not all. Fire also spreads slower if you're in a humid biome. Humid biomes are swamps, mushroom islands, and jungles. So if you're afraid of fire, just turn on easy mode and build your base at a tropical island. Minecraft rain doesn't fall from the clouds. It just appears out of the sky. If you try to find the source of it by flying or teleporting up, the rain texture starts to distort and turn into dissolved white lines. This is so weird. If if you ever want to get your villagers to go back inside, just ring a bell and watch the villagers scatter into their homes. Additionally, ringing a bell during raids will highlight all remaining enemies, helping you take out all the foes and save the village. There you are! With just a skeleton, some TNT, lava, and a herd of creepers, you can create an entire farm of music discs. When the skeleton shoots an arrow, it'll catch on fire and ignite the TNT. Every creeper blown up by the TNT will drop a music disc. I got so many discs they call me Little Prism! Every Halloween, bats gain the 
ability to spawn almost anywhere. Instead of only spawning below light level 3, bats can spawn at light level 7 during the spooky season. This allows bats to spawn much more. Eee, they're everywhere. These Minecraft icons are super cool. But how do you get them? Unused Minecraft accounts were created with mob and block skins by a Mojang producer. The account names start with MHF and exist for a bunch of things like pigs, skeletons, and arrows. They may look a little outdated, but they're still super useful for map makers. To get them, just type the following command and use any of the following usernames. Minecraft's moon isn't just for decoration, it actually affects your world. The eight Minecraft moon phases look like this. But how do they affect your world? Well, during full moons, slime spawns double. Spiders can spawn invisible. And 50% of cat spawns are black. However, during new moons, slimes don't spawn at all. So it's probably not a good idea to go slime hunting during then. Number eight. Illusioners are a hidden mob you can only spawn using commands when you hit them. They spawn fake clones around it to distract you. But if you trap an illusioner in a boat, its clones will also be seated and it'll hold its bow sideways with its arms going through its chest. Ow. You can make the end look super pretty. Night vision in the end creates a beautiful pink sky. It looks awfully nice for housing the final boss. Searching for item categories can be very annoying since you have to know each item's exact name. However, there's a shortcut. Instead of typing each item name, you can use the hashtag symbol to search for item categories. For example, hashtag flowers, hashtag fish, or hashtag ores. This'll save me so much time. How do you put a block on your head? I've wondered for years, and I finally found out. The way is by using the slash item command, which allows you to put all sorts of items and blocks in your head, from lightning rods to turn into a unicorn, fence gates to wear a mask, or glass blocks to become an astronaut. The exact command you use is this. The combinations are truly endless. This block is gone forever. During Minecraft's 10-year anniversary, Cake's got a special candle on top. However, a few days after the event, the candle would be deleted. You couldn't even change your computer's date to get them back. The first structure ever was the in-dev house. Back in 2009, Mojang was actually kind enough to spawn you inside a pre-built house. It was initially made out of mossy cobblestone, but was later changed to wooden planks. And the items it had inside were illegal. It had a bunch of items like lava and TNT with stacks of 99. Something even crazier was this OP crafting recipe. From version 1.3 to 1.8, the crafting recipe for enchanted golden apples was 8 gold blocks and an apple. Mojang realized how broken this was, especially with gold farms existing. So the recipe was removed completely. Rubies were supposed to be in Minecraft. They were originally meant to be used for villager trading instead of emeralds. However, one of the major reasons to remove them was that inner bone was colorblind. This made ruby ore and redstone look too similar. Rest in peace, rubies. Years ago, you could get fried chicken. Well, kinda. Chickens used to spawn in the nether. This was because chicken pigmen riders spawned here. So the game used to bug out and spawn the chickens alone. Now, I can't believe these were in Minecraft. The in-dev version of the game had four really unusual mobs. Steve, Black Steve, Rana, and Beast Boy? These mobs were originally broken and didn't even have a walking animation. These cartoon characters shouldn't be in the game. Mojang is about to catch a lawsuit. One of the strangest structures was these glass pillars. Since Eyes of Enders weren't a thing, these massive pillars marked the location of strongholds all the way back in beta 1.9 and were massive. Jeb made an oopsie when he forgot to remove these debug pillars before releasing the version publicly. The Hovering Inferno is a blaze boss with body parts that look like shields used to defend itself. It spawns in a group of blazes in the nether and can send a shockwave attack. The mob was supposed to be added from Minecraft Live along with the other outvoted mobs, but there hasn't been any news on it yet. Every Christmas, Mojang makes an amazing change. During December 24 to 26, all chests are transformed into presents. So pretty. You could spawn nether portals. In an old alpha version of Minecraft, pressing F4 would generate a portal where you were. While this was removed in the next update, it was one of the most broken features we've ever seen. These may look like roses, but they're not. In 1.7, roses had their names and textures changed to poppies. Their texture was changed slightly, and what's even stranger was that now we have rose bushes, but no roses. Only one person had this cape. The Valentine's cape was given by a Mojang employee after a player had issues migrating their account. However, accounts with rare capes are often hacked, so the cape was later removed. I wish I had that. A secret mob vote was held in 2018. Only people in China could vote, and the panda ended up winning. However, the alligator, golden monkey, deer, and white dolphin were also potential candidates. Imagine having a monkey in Minecraft. Desert temples are nice, but there used to be ginormous pyramids. These were made completely out of bricks and were 64 blocks long and wide. While tons of people thought it was a bug, it was actually added on purpose. Bricks used to be impossible to craft, so these brick pyramids were a gold mine. What's weird though was that there were no rooms inside, and a layer of dirt and stone extends all the way below it. Giants may be the most broken mobs in Minecraft. They have no AI, so they can't move at all. They don't burn during the day, even though they're zombies. And they don't make zombie sounds at all. Most ridiculously, they fly four blocks in the air while in a minecart. Getting skulk sensors can be extremely dangerous as 
they are located in the deep dark. Fortunately, there is a safer solution. Puffer fish. When anything moves near one, it instantly puffs up in warning. And when it does, its hitbox grows just enough to activate a tripwire. You can use this to detect players through walls and create epic secret rooms. This way you can have wireless redstone without going to the deep dark. I never understood this until now. When you ride a mob, you probably notice its hearts right next to yours. But did you know that the orange little hearts are just like that to match the saddle texture? It's a small detail that is just so cool. Minecraft bees are super realistic. When you get stung by a bee, their stinger remains inside you. You can go invisible to better see the stingers. That looks painful. You can turn pillagers into peaceful mobs. By taking enough shots from a pillager, its crossbow will eventually break. Helpless without their crossbows, the once fearsome pillager turn tail into peaceful wanderers. I guess we're friends now. Silas is revenge. Zombies have a secret ability. They can call other zombies within 100 blocks to help in battle. Within seconds, more zombies will pursue you. The best way to prevent this is to kill the zombie as quickly as possible. Damaged husks, drowned, and zombified piglings have the same ability to call other undead zombies. So make sure to take them out hastily. Obsidian is impossible to blow up, right? Well, not exactly. You may be thinking the only option is to use TNT, but that won't work. Not even gassed fireballs. The only explosion that can blow up obsidian is from the wither. The blue wither skull is the only explosion that can blow up obsidian according to the game code. When foxes hold items in their mouth, they're actually holding the item in their hand slot according to the game code. This means if a fox hits you with a fire aspect sword, it'll light you ablaze. Or if it's holding a totem of undying, it'll survive death. You win this time. Have you ever wished you could tame villagers? You'd be able to have your own villager army. They'd follow you around and act as decoys for all incoming zombies. Sadly, Mojang didn't love the idea of villager enslavement as much as we do. I guess we have to stick to villager breeders and trading halls for now. The Aether adds a legendary sky dimension to Minecraft with new mobs, ores, and epic bosses. The mod was so popular that the developer ended up getting hired by Mojang, where he would create the opposite, the nether dimension. Unfortunately, when asked about a sky dimension, the developers have said that they will not be adding community-made mods to Minecraft. The Aether would have been my favorite dimension. We all love our pets in Minecraft, but did you know that cats are secretly evil? Cats appear cute and harmless, but within 15 blocks of baby mobs, cats are murderers. Cats will go after rabbits and baby turtles. This is why dogs are better than cats. Be gone, cat. I'm sorry. Minecarts are very slow. And if you ever tried to make minecarts go faster by sprinting, you'd be saddened to know sprinting just changes your FOB in vehicles and doesn't actually make you go faster. The same thing for boats, horses, pigs. My life is a lie. Polar bears are mostly peaceful, but make sure you don't go near their cubs. Similar to real life, grown-up polar bears are very protective of their cubs. So whatever you're doing, make sure to not even get close to their babies, or you'll be met with an angry mother. I wonder if pigs will protect their babies. Nope. Unlike silverfish, endermite are secretly OP. When you throw an ender pearl, endermites have a 5% chance of spawning. And for some reason, endermen absolutely hate them. So much so that within a 64 block radius, the endermen will blindly charge at the endermite, allowing you to create an amazing XP and ender pearl farm. Pistons can only move up to 12 blocks, and it can be very frustrating. Players have wanted to increase this limit for years, as it'll allow you to build crazy contraptions. Mojang doesn't want pistons to be overpowered, so they have said that the limit would not be increased. In Bedrock Edition, mine coins are used to buy things from skins to maps. However, the only way to get them is by paying real money. But what if it wasn't? What if you could get mine coins from tasks, such as earning achievements or playing on servers? The idea was rejected, and I'm not surprised. Mojang wants their money. If you want to send a redstone signal upwards, you have to make complex systems or pathways like these. But what if redstone could be placed on walls? This would save so much time and make redstone a lot simpler. Unfortunately, Mojang says it's too unrealistic and it's redstone dust and not actual wires. Wait then, how is this possible? Now, but redstone torches can surprisingly run out of power. When toggled rapidly, redstone torches burn out and release a puff of smoke. Luckily, this burnout is temporary and after three seconds, your torch should be functioning like normal again. Darn! So that's why my piston kept breaking. End portals are flat, right? Not exactly. If you place end frames in this exact way, you can create a vertical end portal and it actually works. Once you put the eyes in, the end portal will spawn on the side for some reason. This is so cursed. Replacing a block in creative mode can be very tedious because you have to both break it and then place a new block. But instead of doing that, if you right and left click at the same time, the block instantly gets replaced. 
This allows you to replace blocks floating in midair, or even replace solid blocks with iron bars easily. You can detect thieves with an enchanting table. The book on top of enchanting tables always turns to the nearest player, so next time your friend is snooping around invisible, you can catch them with the direction of the book. I'll never be robbed again! Damn it, Terry! You should never sleep during a raid. This is because when you do, the raid completely restarts. This means that you have to fight all the mobs again. When asked to change, Muljank said that it's going to be left as it is. So if it turns night during a raid, don't sleep. Can you imagine riding dolphins in Minecraft? We could be surfing sparkling sea waves and gliding through coral reefs. It would open up a whole new world of ocean exploration. Muljank said it will not happen, and my best guess is that they don't want to be another sea world. PETA might come after Mojang. Drowned zombies could be so much scarier. While swimming, what if drowned zombies would try to drown you? They'd grab you and take you down the ocean like a bubble column. Mojang has said the drowned aren't going to drown you, so we should be safe for now. If you ever wanted to fly long distances but didn't have fireworks, you'll want to know this. You can combine slow falling portions with an elytra for insanely long flights. Although slower than fireworks, it is very efficient compared to it. This allows you to travel extreme distances with only one glide. Have you ever wished cauldrons were more useful? Well, in the bedrock addition to Minecraft, you can actually use cauldrons to dye leather armor. Whenever you want a change in style, just clean off the armor in a cauldron and re-dye it to a different color. Finally, cauldrons are more than just a giant toilet. If someone enters an end gateway, a purple beacon light activates. So if your friend tries to sneak away and steal all the elytras, you'd know it. But items can also be thrown into the gateway to trick your friends. If you ever wanted to swim underwater with dolphins, you should get a turtle helmet. The turtle helmet gives 10 seconds of water breathing and can be crafted with five scoots. Scoots are obtained when a baby turtle grows up, so you won't be having to kill any turtles. Oops, I'm too late. You can have waypoints in vanilla Minecraft. By naming a banner, placing it, and clicking it with a map, you'll see a marker on your map. This way, you can label different areas like your home and mob farms. Although you can't warp to them, they're still much better than having to remember the coordinates of all your bases. If you ever placed a lily pad before, you'd know that it faces a certain direction. But did you know you can't control the direction the lily pads faces? No matter the direction you face, the lily pad always faces the same direction. Ah, not again. Phantoms can be very annoying, but there's a way to keep them away without sleeping. You may know that cats scare away creepers, but did you also know that cats will scare away phantoms? Phantoms will stay 16 blocks away from cats, keeping both you and your sanity safe. Traveling at night is extremely dangerous because mobs can sneak up on you from anywhere. There's a solution though. If you bring a parrot with you, it can actually imitate the sounds of nearby mobs alerting you of hostile mobs. Yes, no mobs will ever sneak up on me again. Okay, maybe it's not perfect, but it's still pretty cool. You should never use coal to smell. One coal can only smelt eight times, while one lava bucket can smelt 100 times. And there's an entire dimension of it, for goodness sake. But if you want to save even more materials, just craft a campfire with one coal, and you can smelt infinite food with it. The only way to get chainmail armor is either in creative mode or from a mob drop, right? Well, in older versions of Minecraft, chainmail could actually be crafted. This was done Done by using fire in a crafting table. The recipe doesn't make too much sense, but it was at least a way of crafting the chainmail. Sadly, you can no longer get fire in newer versions of Minecraft, leaving it as one of Minecraft's lost items. How many bone meal do you need? If you used bone meal to grow a sapling and it didn't finish growing, it wasn't a waste. Although the tree didn't fully grow, the bone meal decreased the growing time and it actually helped. So it's probably not a good idea to break and replace the sapling after using bone meal. Minecraft turtles are pretty realistic. Just like in real life, turtle eggs in Minecraft will hatch at night. Turtles in real life do this to avoid predators and have a higher chance of making it to the ocean. These cute turtles also shed their shells in real life, and in Minecraft, they drop scoots. Silverfish infested blocks are very annoying, but did you know they can be detected? Compared to normal blocks, infested blocks actually have a slightly faster mining speed. So you'll know when you 
your mining one. This way, you can avoid having to deal with pesky silverfish when mining. You probably know that you can press Ctrl and Q to drop an entire stack. But what if you wanted to drop only some of the items? Well, you can actually just hold down your Q button and it will drop down the items rapidly, allowing you to throw a ton of items without tiring your fingers. This also works in your inventory, so you can easily drop whatever items whenever. Let's go. My fingers are saved. You may know that phantom membranes are needed to brew slow-falling potions. But did you know they also have a hidden use? When flying long distances, your elytra will lose durability. And if you don't have mending, phantom membranes can be used instead to fix your elytra. Creepers are notoriously explosive and can decimate your bases. But you can actually avoid ruining your bases with a flint and steel. You can use a flint and steel to ignite the creeper before he gets too close to your base. But if you don't use water, you may end up with some of these holes. Damn it, fill the holes up, Jerry. This jump is impossible to 99% of players. The only way to make this jump is by doing a secret technique. By turning 45 degrees midair, you actually travel a bit further. This method is called a 45 degree straight and will give you about a 2% speed boost. It is the only way you can make this otherwise impossible jump. Did you know there was wind in Minecraft? Although the player can't feel any of the wind, we can tell it exists by a few different things. The clouds in Minecraft always move westward, and if Minecraft didn't have wind, the clouds would just stand still. When a mob dies, the ash from the mob floats into the sky. I always thought that the totem of undying was T-posing, but it's actually not. The two little stubs sticking out are actually wings, not arms. But it does make a lot of sense since totems drop from killing evokers, and evokers summon flying vexes. Honeycomb is the only block that is mined at the same speed no matter what tool you use. It can be used to make impossible to escape traps with pistons, as you wouldn't be able to break the honeycomb in time before it got moved by the piston. Someone save me! Never use powered rails. Instead, if you put a pig on a minecart, it'll make the minecart travel extremely quickly on normal rails. The pig minecart is so powerful that it can even go straight up hills. Don't waste your gold on powered rails. Cats all always land on their feet in real life, but in Minecraft, cats don't take any fall damage. You can hit them off a mountain and they'll still survive. Try surviving this. Have you seen those stylish villager outfits, books on their heads and fur coats? Who designed those cutting edge fashions? Mojang revealed villagers were inspired by a Gucci fashion show. How did villagers end up dressed better than me? A strange item might become Minecraft's best weapon. In Minecraft's combat testing snapshot, netherite hoes are the best weapon. This is because axes have a reach of 2.5 blocks, swords have a reach of 3 blocks, and hoes have a reach of 3.5 blocks. This would make it so someone using a hoe would always hit someone using a sword or axe first. I never thought netherite hoes would be actually useful. You should never dig straight down, right? Well, not exactly, because digging straight down has a 64% chance of leading to nothing and only a 6% chance of leading to lava, so it's mostly safe. And even if you do fall in lava, you can always just use a water bucket. Fences are the strangest blocks in Minecraft. You can't jump over them normally, but when you make them even taller with a carpet or trap door, then you can jump on them. This game is so weird! These Minecraft accounts are illegal. Minecraft usernames are supposed to have more than three characters, but the names BB, G, and 8 exist. When Minecraft was first created, usernames didn't have requirements, and this allowed players to create these cursed usernames. This feature breaks Minecraft. This is because the game can't handle extremely large numbers. So if you die with over 21,863 XP levels, you'll have a negative game score. This is so cursed! The Swift Sneak enchantment lets you travel super quickly, but most people use it wrong. The enchantment lets you move faster while shifting, but if you sprint right before pressing crouch, you'll go way quicker. But that's not it. You can go even faster by sprint jumping and holding crouch. Now you can escape your enemies without getting caught. This Minecraft mob has different stages. Piglins can have a light, medium, or heavy aggression. The light tier can be fixed by wearing gold armor. The medium tier can be calmed by bartering gold. And the heavy tier can't be cured. You can climb up hundreds of blocks with just two items, powdered snow and leather boots. While wearing leather boots, you won't fall through the powdered snow and will be able to continue climbing climbing without leaving a trail. In all the Minecraft, there is one block you can enchant. This block is a non-wearable block, so pumpkins don't count. The answer is the jack-o'-lantern, and it can be enchanted with curses even though you can't wear it. Unfortunately, this was patched in 1.20, but if you are ever on an older version, it'd be a super cool trick. Steve is the most powerful character ever. He never uses the restroom, which is super weird. He can even eat a million cakes and nothing will happen. There were rumors and jokes of adding a toilet into Minecraft, but Mojang has said things like toilets are too realistic. Minecraft has spider, chicken, and ravager jockeys, but why not dolphin jockeys? It'd be super exciting as a concept with drowned mobs riding on top of a dolphin and wielding a trident. Although it may be a little difficult to fight, I think it'd make a great foe for Minecraft.
crap. Too bad Mojang has said it's definitely not happening. It's not just Steve who has to use the restroom. Animals too. You'd be able to use the animal waste as fertilizer for your crops. It'd be like bone meal, except better. When Mojang was questioned about animals having waste products, they stated that it was not a fit for Minecraft. Imagine seeing your pigs do this in Minecraft. Ew. Getting different types of wood can be very time consuming because if you need a lot, you have to set up a farm for each tree. This is why some players wanted dyeable or paintable wood. This would let you just paint over different woods to create beautiful builds. However, using a paintbrush in Minecraft isn't very Minecrafty and will decrease the amount of exploring the players do to find new woods. Want more inventory space? Just turn on touchscreen mode and use your number hotties to place your items in the crafting grid. You can exit your inventory and the items will stay there. This bug was patched in 1.19, but you can still use it in any version before. With maps and glass, you can make one-way windows. You can create maps that look like blocks using a custom map generator or by building block layouts by hand. Slap them on glass and you can spy on your friends without getting caught. So it was you who was stealing my emeralds. Use this method to find tons of netherite. Just place a grindstone, apply fire resistance, and swim upwards beneath the grindstone while holding crouch. This way you can x-ray underneath lava lakes to find hidden netherite. This method is good because you don't need tons of beds to do it. This is the easiest way to kill a warden. As the warden spawns, build an iron golem and make sure you have over a stack of iron. You can use this iron to heal the golem as it takes damage and it'll destroy the warden for you. It may seem a little expensive but you can easily get iron with AFK farms and it's certainly better than dying in the deep dark. If you apply the name tag dinner bone to mobs it'll flip them upside down but there are three mobs it won't work on. You probably know the ender dragon but the other two are a bit more surprising. Considering you can do it to the wither the two mobs are the squid and glow squid. Squids have another strange feature. Real life squids have 10 tentacles but Minecraft squids have only eight. But considering Minecraft has a dragon and giant green slimes I think it's fine that squids aren't completely realistic. Let me ride you already. If it's taking forever to tame a horse, you can feed it a golden apple before trying again, and it'll be way more likely to accept you. Minecraft items have a secret rarity system. This is why some items have white names, while others are colored. But what do the colors mean? Common items are white, treasure items are bright yellow, boss drops are aqua, and admin items glow purple. What happens if you enchant a normal golden apple? Will it act just like a god apple, or will it be the same? The answer is actually in between. Enchanting a regular golden apple boosts its rarity to epic, turning its name the same color as god apples. It's still functioning like normal, but how cool is that? If you shoot a bunch of arrows with your left hand, you'll see more arrows will land on the left side of your crosshair. This happens because arrows lean a bit left or right, depending on which hand you shoot a bow with. I always thought something was off. The symbols on end crystals may look random, but they actually spell something pretty interesting. When you rearrange the symbols, they spell out Mojang. I'd be surprised if you knew this. The phantom sounds were made by a developer's son screaming in his sleep. Yeah, there's no way you knew that. Llamas are one of the fastest mobs in Minecraft. They may seem slow at first, especially the wandering trader llamas, but there's a way to make them go super fast. When you attach a llama to a lead, up to 10 other llamas will follow, and they'll do almost anything to keep up. You can fly backwards in creative mode, and the llamas will still somehow keep up. Have you ever noticed you can craft books in the crafting table any way you want? The recipes are shapeless, meaning you can place the ingredients however you like. It also works for flint and steel, as well as beetroot soup. Now this is very cursed. With just a chicken, lead, and boat, you can create a void base. All you have to do is attach the chicken to a fence, then ride the boat on top. This works because boats are able to land on top of entities. You can also put boat chests to make the most secret base ever. This is the most embarrassing way to die. If you punch an armor stand with Thorn's armor, you end up taking damage. And if you keep doing it, you'll get this embarrassing death message. The bucket has a slight detail only the most observant players will notice. When you pick up a fish, the bucket texture goes down by one pixel to show the weight of the fish pushing it down. It's nearly impossible to see if you're not looking closely. This chest is impossible to open. You may think there's a block or barrier on top, but there isn't. The chest was locked using the data command. With this command, you can lock chests, furnaces, and other storages. The only way to open them is with a key you set in the command. This way, you can have secret chests that only you know how to open. Be gone, thieves. Have you ever wondered what the rarest mob in Minecraft is? The brown mushroom, a charged creeper, or even a pink sheep? It's none of that. The rarest mob to ever exist is the Jolly Llama. These were one-time mobs added in Minecraft Earth and were only obtainable during Christmas 2019. To get it, you had to go to a specific statue in New York, London, or Sydney and scan a QR code. On second thought, that's way too much work. This flower was forgotten. Although some people know about the rose being replaced by the poppy, most have forgotten about the cyan flower. According to Jeb, these existed because of a hardware problem where the red color of the rose was inverted to blue. What's your favorite dimension in the game? The nether, end, or maybe even the other world? Mine's the sky dimension. That's because back in beta Minecraft, Notch actually planned this wild dream world that could only be accessed 
access through sleeping. However, this concept was later shifted to be a part of the end rather than the sky world. We need a mod for this. Oh, wait. Dirt slabs were supposed to be in the game. They'd make the terrain a lot more smooth and pretty. However, they ended up causing terrain issues and Notch decided to remove them. Pauldrons were used for creating potions instead of brewing stands. When it was first added to Minecraft, you could throw the ingredients into a water-filled cauldron and boom, you had a tub of the best potions in the game. This would have been amazing. So overpowered. In version 1.15, the devs accidentally added some secret items. In 1.15, the wax block and crystallized honey were added. No one knew what they'd be used for, but it was later found out that they were added on accident and were removed. Minecraft's villages used to look like this. Villages used to generate with gravel roads instead of dirt paths and had these ugly box houses. They looked like they were built by Canman. There were supply crates? During April Fools in 2011, Steve's supply crates were added. To open it, you had to visit the store which had a bunch of strange items from keys to a creeper saddle. But if you tried to purchase any of it, a dinosaur would appear. The Steve crate was a parody of the man supply crate found in another game called Team Fortress 2. The barnacle should have been in Minecraft. It was a squid-like ocean creature that chased players in water or boats. The barnacle would suck players down underwater and drown them. Eek! This was another outvoted mob from the 2017 Minecraft line. Horses and pigs were actually meant to have their own saddles. Horse saddles were added for one snapshot alone and were pretty much removed instantly in the next update. Now, both horses and pigs use the same saddle, which is pretty convenient. Clouds had a hidden texture. Back in Inteb, an image called Luck was added to the files, but this was removed during the beginning of Alpha and we never saw it again. The Nether Reactor Core was added in the very first version a pocket edition and would spawn a giant pillar of obsidian. Inside of it, pigmen would spawn. Glowing obsidian would appear and items would pop up from the ground. Back then, the nether wasn't a thing, so the reactor allowed players to get nether items, glowstone, and netherrack. The interesting thing was that the reactor had a major update and would start creating netherrack pillars instead of obsidian. The turtle cape was an extremely exclusive cape that got removed. Only two players ever had it, and they got it for their suggestions to add the turtle to the game. However, their capes were later removed for unknown reasons. Monster spawners are very useful for EXP farmers. But what about a sign spawner? Well, in an older version of Minecraft, a sign spawner was mistakenly added because signs were treated as entities. These were later fixed and changed to pig spawners. You know what? Removing sign spawners is good because it's so cursed. This mob is the Great Hunger. It has huge jaws and can sink into the ground, camouflaging itself. The Great Hunger acts like a bear trap, and any item you drop into its mouth will be crushed. It also works with mobs and players. Ow! The mob was outvoted in Minecraft Live, but was supposed to be added in future updates. Minecraft has a history of adding secret textures into the game files. A few of these included two textures for sandstone that were added into one of the terrain files. Ultimately, these were replaced by the cut and chiseled sandstone textures we have today. Did you have imagined villagers making no sound at all? Yeah, me neither. In 2011, when villagers were added, they were dead silent no matter what you did to them. The devs only fixed this in Java 1.6.1, and we finally got these sounds back. If you name a sheep Jeb, its wool changes color. But what if there was an actual rainbow sheep? Well, in Minecraft Earth, they were a rare reward you could get. They acted similar to normal sheep, but it sheared them, it'd reveal a strange bald spot. Ew. Minecraft recycles a lot of textures. End stone is identical to cobblestone, bedrock to stone, and sand to clay. Even the creeper hissing sound is the same as the prime TNT sound. Just pitch down. When you load a world, the chunk colors actually mean something. Black means unloaded terrain, gray means structures, and blue means water. This is the full color chart. So next time your world is loading, keep an eye out for interesting chunks. Did you know mobs can still see you when invisible? Instead of hiding you completely, Completely. The effect makes it so that mobs detect you at 7% of their usual range. Each armor piece also increases the detection range by 17.5%. So if you get too close or wear too much armor, the mobs will still come after you. If you're fighting a zombie and more seem to appear out of nowhere, this is because you're fighting a leader. They have a 5% chance of spawning and when attacked, they'll summon reinforcement zombies. Fireflies were supposed to sparkle in the dark. The frogs would snap the glowing bugs right out of the air with their long tongues. How cool would it have been to see frogs leave and catching fireflies. However, once Mojang found out fireflies are poisonous to frogs, they canceled the idea. Rest in peace, fireflies. Villagers are completely helpless in Minecraft. When attacked, all they can do is run. To make them less useless, some players requested for villagers to fight and defend themselves. They'd be able to wear armor and use swords to kill mobs. But Mojang has said that this is why golems exist and villagers are just peaceful creatures who don't want to fight. Um, ever wanted to go teleport through walls? Well, with a boat, you can. All you have to do is drive a boat to a corner like this. Or you could face through straight walls using a dispenser like this. You'll never be trapped again. Unless the wall is two blocks thick, of course. Gosh darn it. Never dry your sponges with the furnace. Instead, use the power of the nether to dry your soaked sponges. You don't have to waste any fuel. Too bad it doesn't work in the end, though. I learned the hard way. Gosh darn it. This update
was very controversial. The combat update made attacking have a cooldown so you couldn't spam hit anymore. Many players were furious about this change and gave a solution, a PvP game rule. This way players could set if they wanted spam hitting or the cooldown system. Mojang didn't want the bug fix to combat systems and also had the game as simple as possible for new players so they rejected the idea. If you want to create a timer, you have to use a bunch of hoppers and pistons but the timer block would make redstone much simpler. With it, we could just set how many seconds we want to wait and done. However, Mojang has ruled the timer block out so I still have to learn redstone. So if I place redstone here and gosh darn it, emerald armor would be super cool. It would be stronger than iron but weaker than diamond. Although it would look very pretty, it wouldn't be useful as iron armor would be way easier to craft and not too much worse. But if you still want it, you can always use the 1.20 trims to look snazzy. We all know the water bucket clutch, but what if you could clutch without any items? Well, you can in single player. If you sprint off a ledge, that's over 35 blocks tall. Hold jump in the air and sneak right before you hit the ground. You won't take any fall damage. I have no clue why this works, but it does. I'll never die again. Everyone knows that you should never hit a zombie pigman, but how do you make them peaceful again? You'll need to hide at least 55 blocks in Java Edition and 25 blocks in Bedrock Edition for about one minute, and the pigmen will forgive you. Just make sure the chunks with the pigmen are still loaded, otherwise their peaceful timer won't go down. We're cool now, right? High five! Ah! What did I do? You can actually melt snow with a fishing rod. By throwing a fishing rod through lava, the bobber is lit on fire, melting any snow it touches. Not only is it super cool, but it also has a super satisfying sound. <sighs> One of the most requested features is the vertical slab. It'd be awesome for building roofs, circles, and chimneys. It doesn't look like Mojang would be adding them though, as they don't want to prevent natural creativity. Subscribe if you want vertical slabs. Voice chat in Minecraft would be the most insane feature, letting you trash talk enemies to coordinate with teammates. However, a Mojang director has said we have no plans to add it as there are other services you can use. So it seems like we'll all still use our favorite voice chat service. Sky Minecraft bees are massive compared to real life. The bees in Minecraft are as large as chicken. They're more like birds at this point. Mojang has said that the bees body size is final and won't be changed. So we're trapped with these terrifying creatures. Dolphins are friendly creatures that help you swim much faster. But did you know that they could also kill you? When attacked, dolphins will turn hostile and attack you back. And not just one dolphin, the entire pod of dolphins, similar to zombie pigmen, will come after you. Ah, I'm sorry! Minecraft has an inventory problem. It can be extremely difficult to travel long distances without getting your inventory full. Luckily, Minecraft has a movable storage system. Donkeys! Donkeys can be right-clicked with a chest to create movable storage. It doesn't provide too much storage, but sometimes on your adventures, it can be just enough to bring home that extra totem. Llamas are actually really useful. Although you can't control their movement with a saddle, llamas are amazing for item transportation. All you have to do is tame a llama and put a chest on it. That's not it, however. When you lead a llama, up to 10 nearby llamas will follow. So by attaching chests to the other llamas, you can form a caravan of llamas and chests. My life has changed forever. Light blocks are the ultimate tool for insane builds in Minecraft. With them, you can recreate masterpiece paintings, entire galaxies, the possibilities are endless. The only thing holding builders back is that light is only white. Can you imagine how epic builds would be with colored lighting? The insane builds from it would be amazing. Sadly, colored lighting would destroy most of our computers as lighting takes up a lot of resources. But if you play Bedrock Edition, you can always just turn on RTX mode and have your computer explode. We all make mistakes, but what if you could just undo them? When using commands like slash fill, you can easily delete an area you didn't mean to. When asked on Reddit, a Minecraft developer promptly replied, no, looks like all actions are permanent, unless you get the world edit mod. Minecraft sun is unrealistic, but not because it's a cube. When you look straight into it, nothing happens. In real life, you'd have permanent eye damage. Okay, maybe it's a good thing your eyes don't burn in Minecraft. I wonder what'll happen if you look at the sun with a spyglass. Ouch! Shifting hides the player's name tag, but it has another secret use. Most hostile mobs can detect you from 16 blocks away, but sneaking decreases the detection range to 80% of their usual range. So if you're trying to escape some creepers, Sneaking will help a lot. There's an 
another way to sneak past mobs, and it's even better than shifting. When you wear mob heads, it halves the distance that mobs can detect you. Just another way to get past pesky mobs. Have you ever wondered how the gas sounds were made in Minecraft? The sound is horrific. C418, the original sound designer for Minecraft, said that he got the sounds from his sleeping cat, and he modified them to sound scarier. Skeletons have a hidden detail very few players know about. About 11% of them spawn left-handed, and it apparently mirrors the amount of real people who are left-handed. How crazy is that? Minecraft was supposed to have multiple dragons. You've met the Ender Dragon, but a secret red dragon that could land and fly around the overworld was supposed to be added. The possibilities for dragon fights, taming dragons as pets and riding them would have been endless. It was not his idea, but when he left Mojang, the idea was scrapped forever. When asked about it, he even tweeted, it never happened. Minecraft's original name was Cave Game, but was later changed to Minecraft in 2009. Some people have suggested changing the name back to Cave Game, but it was shut down. Minecraft is a bit too iconic to change now. Minecon Cape accounts are very valuable. They are sold on black markets for hundreds of dollars. But what if Mojang just sold the capes? They could create a shop where players purchase the capes of previous Minecon events. However, Mojang wants to keep capes only for special occasions, so they won't be letting us get capes anytime soon. Imagine running through caves and finding a scattered skeleton body. Skeleton bodies would randomly scatter throughout your world and would be a cool easter egg whenever you found one. They were determined to not be a good fit for Minecraft and won't be added. Skull Shriekers got a lot more terrifying in 1.20. Before, skull sensors could be waterlogged to be made silent, but now Shriekers can be too. With waterlogged Shriekers, you wouldn't be able to tell if a warden was about to spawn. I'm scared. Help! By using a brush on suspicious sand and gravel, you can uncover long lost items. Suspicious blocks are scattered throughout the world and can be found in structures such as desert wells, pyramids, and ocean ruins. The loot depends on the structure the suspicious block was found at, but in general, you can find things like gunpowder, pottery, sherds, diamonds, and emeralds. Breaking the block or moving it with a piston destroys the block, and you get nothing, so you have to use a brush. Let's see what I find. I mean, I guess it's better than nothing. The Minecraft world has a secret structure. The trail ruins. The structure is very rare and is hidden beneath the surface with only the tip poking out. Inside the ruins, suspicious gravel is scattered throughout, allowing you to uncover hidden treasures. You can find exclusive armor trims here, like the host, razor, wayfinder, and shaper armor trims. Looking snazzy. Desert temples have a new secret chamber. When you mine some of the sand in the temple floor, you'll find a mysterious staircase that leads to this room. The new room has its roof collapsed and will always have one suspicious sand sticking out. This room can contain several suspicious sand, so make sure you mine from the top down to avoid breaking any of it. Now you can find more goodies at desert temples. Players have wanted this for years and Mojang has finally listened. No more demolishing and replacing signs just to fix a silly typo. Now you can just right click to edit the text on the fly. You can also now add text to either side of a sign. I love this update. Boats no longer get stuck inside of dispensers. This is how boats used to dispense. They get stuck and this is how they dispense now. They shoot outside the dispenser. You can finally ride straight into the ocean using dispensers. If you ever jumped on a slime block and died, it's because you landed on the edge. However, in 1.20, this was fixed, so you will still bounce when you hit the edge of the block. But this also means that you can no longer stand on the edge of magma blocks to avoid taking damage, soul sand to avoid being slowed, and honey blocks to avoid being stuck. Please save me! This bug took 11 years to fix. When you exit a nether portal and stay in, you probably have realized that you still have the portal effect. Now in 1.20, once you exit the portal, the effect disappears properly and you can see clearly. I never knew that was a bug until today. Anvils were actually nerfed. Before, when anvils fell on items, they would crush the items. But in the new update, anvils no longer destroy items or EXP orbs. This way, you can crush your friends without having to worry about destroying their items. <laughs> you may know that skeletons drop their heads when blown up by a charged creeper, but now piglings do too. The only problem is that piglings turn to zombified piglings in the overworld, so you likely have to bring a charged creeper through the nether. Okay, so if I just bring him over here, gosh darn it! That sound wasn't a creeper. It was actually a note block. When you put a mob head on a note block, it now plays that mob sound. You can hide this under a trap chest to make a creeper sound play whenever it's open. This is truly evil. By going into video settings, holding control, and scrolling the mouse wheel, the GUI can be quickly scaled. Just a quality of life change, so you can easily switch your menu sizes. You will always get a skull from your third wither skeleton on this seed. This is because in 1.20, the luck of the world is tied to its world seed. So if it takes three wither skeletons to get your first skull and you create the world again using the same seed, it'll take three wither skeletons again to get your 
first skull. This means some world seeds can straight up just be unlucky. Enchanting just got infinitely more stylish. Placing torches near your enchanting table used to lure your enchanting power. But now, you can decorate your enchanting room with replaceable blocks without penalty. I wonder what enchantment I'll get now. Curse of Vanishing, are you kidding me? Minecraft's iconic logo has changed forever. The launcher icon is now a creeper icon. The game icon is a grass block. And snapshots are a dirt block. Although not too noticeable, it makes the game feel a lot more modern. And I think it looks a lot better. This secret door only opens if you put on armor right next to it. This is made possible with the new calibrated skulk sensor. It can be crafted with just a skulk sensor and an amethyst shard. Equipping armor makes a quieter sound than breaking blocks. And the calibrated skulk sensor can tell. The sensor corresponds to redstone strengths. So by running a redstone signal of power 5 in here, the calibrated skulk sensor will only activate if it hears sounds of level 5, like equipping armor. This is so cool. You have access to every single element in the periodic table. These elements are very important. They can be placed as blocks or even used as giant signs. When punched with your fist, they break instantly. However, their most important purpose is for creating the new items and chemicals. This special TNT works underwater. Just combine sodium and TNT in a crafting bench and you'll get underwater TNT. If you place multiple underwater, they'll even chain together creating massive sea explosions. This is very cursed. This mob looks like a villager, but it's not. It's an NPC and they're a lot more powerful. Normally you just trade with villagers, but NPCs have a ton of abilities. You can change their name to anything you want. Make them look like a computer. Create dialogue that tells you to subscribe or even just run commands. Their giant noses do look a bit funky though. With the element constructor, you can create elements out of thin air. Just select the number of protons, electrons, and neutrons to create any element. If you wanted to create nitrogen, you'd select 7 for each category and you'd have 64 nitrogen items. The constructor block is overpowered because it doesn't require any item to use. So you have unlimited elements. I wonder if I can create gold. I guess the gold element is close enough. Stop breaking blocks. How do you stop players from griefing? The answer is the new restriction block. The allow block makes it so that players can only build on top of them. The deny block prevents players from building on top. And the border block makes it so that players can't cross. It doesn't matter how high or low you are. The border will prevent you from going through no matter what. Well, unless you have ender pearls. Can't trap me. The compound creator block lets you form over 30 unique substances, such as latex, soap, and salt. By combining different elements in the grid, you'll unlock these incredible materials. For example, mixing H2O will result in water. The fascinating thing is that the recipes are shapeless, so it doesn't matter where you put the elements in the table. The compound will still form. These specialized materials aren't available in the creative menu, so you need the compound creator block to get them. You can now get balloons, and they're the best items ever. They can be attached to fences or walls as decoration, or even used as target practice. Balloons can be popped by shooting a bow, throwing a trident, or just striking it with a sword. But they have one more secret feature. When tied to a mob, the balloon carries the mob high into the sky before eventually disappearing. Smaller mobs like chickens fly up quicker than heavier mobs like sheep. But the iron golem is so heavy that it just stays stuck to the ground with the balloon. To craft them, combine latex, helium, a lead, and any dye you want in the crafting table. There's regular stained and tinted glass, but now there's a fourth type, hardened glass. It's a special type of glass because it's resistant to TNT. It can be as close as two blocks away and still survive an explosion. In survival mode, hardened glass can be mined with your fist and you'll still get the item. So how do you make it? In a crafting table, just combine aluminum oxide, boron trioxide, glass, and you'll get the item. The same recipe works for stained glass as well. If you want to get elements without just spawning them in, you can use the material reducer. The reducer breaks down normal items into elements. Every single element is obtained by inputting different items like glowstone, gold nuggets, and ink sacks. Certain blocks such as netherrack could contain the unknown element with a question mark. If you take out a few elements, the item you placed in will be deleted, and you won't be able to input any more items until the rest of the elements are cleared. The NPC is great, but this mob is even better. This mob is the agent, and it can be coded to break blocks, build and collect blocks. Just press C on your keyboard to open the code editor, and you can make the agent do whatever you want. All right, the robot player should mine that diamond. Ah, I can't code. Instead of taking boring screenshots, you can use the camera item to take gorgeous photos. To use it, just hold down right click and release the snap the photo but what if you want to be in the photo well you can place the camera down and once you right click it the camera will follow you around making sure you're center where are your photos saved whenever you take a photo it ends up appearing in the portfolio this item stores every picture you've ever taken and you can delete them add captions or even take them out as a photo item they can be hung up on item frames to store your amazing memories torches are great for lighting up dark places but they don't work underwater but now there's a solution although you could always use blocks like glowstone or prismarine 
marine lanterns underwater, I think this looks way better. By combining a torch with magnesium in a crafting table, you'll get the underwater torch. The special block won't break underwater and will let you light up the oceans. You can run experiments with the lab table. This block allows you to test different ingredients together, and when you combine them, you'll either get a new item or be left with garbage. The lab table plays a huge role in getting four unique items. Bleach is actually in Minecraft. In real life, bleach is used for removing stains off clothes, and in Minecraft, it turns color blocks back to white. Just apply it to any colored item and done. To create bleach combine sodium hypochlorite and water in a lab table i never thought this would get added to minecraft by combining four sodium acetate in a lab table you get an ice bomb this item can be thrown like an egg and similar to ender pearls has a small cooldown when thrown ice bombs freeze upon hitting water the ice bomb only works on water and not a normal terrain or mobs if you throw it underwater you'll be put inside ice saving you from drowning if you want to melt ice or snow most people use something like a torch but now there's something even better a heat block it's a way to melt snow and ice without creating light. So if you're trying to make a mob farm in a cold biome, this block is amazing for not having the water freeze. By combining ammonia and phosphorus in a lab table, you'll get super fertilizer. It fully grows any crop or sapling in an instant. It only takes one super fertilizer to fully grow anything. Even using it on grass will give you more flowers. This is the ultimate farming tool. Fireworks are great, but there's now an exciting alternative. Sparklers. These flashy items look like lightsabers, but once you light them, a bunch of glow particles will come out. You can see how long the sparkler has left by its durability. But if you enter water with a lit sparkler, it's destroyed immediately. So stay dry. There are five different color variants and you can craft them with a stick, magnesium, and any of these chlorides. There are four special types of medicine. The antidote cures poison, elixir cures weakness, eye drops cure blindness, and the tonic cures nausea. Creating each medicine is pretty interesting. Instead of using a crafting table, it involves a brewing stand. Brew silver for antidotes, cobalt for elixir, calcium for eye drops, and bismuth for tonic. However, each medicine only removes one negative potion effect. So it makes you wonder, why don't you just drink milk? Get back here! You can create colorful glow sticks by combining polyethylene, hydrogen peroxide, luminol, and a dye of your choice. To use them, just give them a shake and they'll instantly glow in your hands. This item doesn't last forever and you can see how many more shakes you have before it breaks from its durability bar. Penguins are in Minecraft. The Education Edition has various subject kits from science to history that players can learn from. One of these kits is called Rose and sal and it adds penguins to the game this is way too cool signs are super useful for writing things but the problem is that they're too small luckily there are three new blocks that change this the slate poster and board the slate is a little bit bigger than a sign the poster is like a double sign and the board is the size of a wall you can use the blocks to write a lot bigger and once you're done writing you can lock the board to prevent pesky griefer in older versions of education edition there was a major glitch this bug allowed users without school accounts to play the game for free all they had to do was create a demo world, use the ancient mob to give you creative, and grant yourself permissions using a command block. Unfortunately, Mojang doesn't like giving out their games for free, so this glitch no longer works. This is a colored torch. By combining a regular torch with metal chlorides, you can craft blue, red, purple, or green torches. The colored torches are great decoration and look very pretty, but they have one major flaw. The light is still white. Still, I think they look extremely nice. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe.